This is Med School Radio. The internal laryngeal nerve mediates the afferent limb of the cough reflex above the vocal cords. Foreign bodies, for example, fish bones, can become lodged in the piriform recess and may cause damage to the nerve, impairing the cough reflex. Immune thrombocytopenic purpura is characterized by autoimmune destruction of platelets and is often associated with viral infections. Platelet abnormalities typically cause superficial microhemorrhages such as petechiae and mucosal bleeding, for example, epistaxis and gingival bleeding. Ankylosing spondylitis is an HLA B27 associated spondyloarthropathy that affects primarily young males and causes debilitating pain and deformity of the spine and hips. A yellowish eyelid papule or papule containing lipid-laden macrophages is most likely xanthalasma. Xanthalasma may occur in association with primary or secondary hyperlipidemia. Cholestatic conditions such as primary biliary cholangitis are a potential cause of hypercholesterolemia causing or leading to xanthalasma. Smoking cessation is by far the most effective preventative intervention in almost all patients and this is especially true in those with diabetes. The admission process must include discussion of whether the patient has advanced directives along with code status to ensure that the medical personnel adhere to the patient's specific wishes should the patient become incapacitated. Dopamine receptor blockers, for example, metoclopramide or prochlorperazine, act as antiemetics and pain relievers for severe migraine headache associated with nausea and vomiting. However, dopamine blockade can also result in excess cholinergic activity, for example, acute dystonic reactions. Diphenhydramine can be co-administered with dopamine receptor blockers to prevent these reactions due to its anticholinergic activity. Muscle contraction involves continuous actin myosin cross bridge cycling driven by release of sarcoplasmic calcium stores. After death, loss of ATP prevents both myosin head detachment and clearance of cytoplasmic calcium, leading to diffuse and persistent skeletal muscle stiffening, which is rigor mortis. Polyarteritis nodosa is a transmural necrotizing vasculitis that affects small and medium-sized arteries. Patients typically present with systemic symptoms, for example, fatigue, fever, weight loss, renal failure, and abdominal pain slash bloody stools due to ischemia of the involved organs. Postoperative hypoparathyroidism with resultant hypocalcemia is a common complication of thyroidectomy due to inadvertent injury or removal of the parathyroid glands. Postoperative supplementation with oral calcium and vitamin D can be used to treat and prevent postoperative hypocalcemia. So the answer here was calcitriol. Prolactin is under negative regulation by dopamine. Dop- dopaminergic neurons via the pituitary stalk. Dopamine agonists, for example, gabagolin, are used in patients with prolactin-secreting pituitary adenomas, which are called prolactinomas, to suppress prolactin production and reduce tumor size. Benefits are typically seen within the first few weeks of therapy. So the answer here was improved ED um, and visual field defect, prolactin.
Using nitrates together with phosphodiesterase, or PDE inhibitors, used for erectile dysfunction and pulmonary hypertension, causes a profound systemic hypotension because they both increase intracellular CGMP, which causes vascular smooth muscle relaxation. Their use together is absolutely contraindicated. Infants who do not receive adequate iron supplementation are at risk for developing, for developing iron deficiency, which progresses in stages as total body iron is depleted. The earliest stage involves loss of iron in storage, um, shown by decreased serum ferritin, followed by iron-limited erythropoiesis with decreased serum iron and transferrin saturation. Frank iron deficiency anemia involving the classic findings of low hemoglobin, microcytic or hypochromic erythrocytes, and a low reticulocyte count is a late finding. Neurologic symptoms of vitamin E deficiency closely mimic those of Friedrich ataxia and include ataxia, um, which is spinal cerebellar tract degeneration, loss of position and vibration sense, or dorsal column degeneration, and weakness of, and hyperreflexia, which is peripheral nerve degeneration. Atheroembolic disease typically occurs after an invasive vascular procedure due to mechanical dislodgement of atherosclerotic plaque, resulting in the showering of cholesterol-rich microemboli into the circulation. Needle-shaped cholesterol clefts in affected vessels are diagnostic. Commonly involved organs include the kidney, for example, acute kidney injury, the skin with blue toe syndrome or levodo reticularis, and gastrointestinal tract, for example, bleeding and infarction, and the CNS, stroke, amaurosis, fugax. The latissimus dorsi is a large thoracolum thoracolumbar muscle that originates from the iliac crest and lumbar fascia to the spinous process to the spinous processes of T7 through T12 and lower ribs and inserts at the bicipital groove of the humerus. It is innervated by the thoracodorsal nerve. Primary functions include extension, adduction, and medial or internal rotation of the humerus. Pneumococcal meningitis is associated with massive cerebrospinal fluid inflammatory cytokine release in response to bacterial cell wall components. Treatment with dexamethasone prior to antibiotic therapy has shown to reduce inflammation and decrease the risk of adverse outcomes, for example, seizures, focal neurologic defects, and death. Other forms of bacterial meningitis do not seem to benefit from glucocorticoid treatment. The internal laryngeal nerve mediates the afferent limb of the cough reflex above the vocal cords. Foreign bodies, for example, fish bones, can become lodged in the piriform recess and may cause damage to the nerve, impairing the cough reflex.